Today we're diving into a topic that's got the potential to shake up the entire car industry. Ammonia, hydrogen engines. Now I know what you're thinking. Ammonia? That stuff farmers use? You bet. But this isn't your grandpa's fertilizer anymore. We're talking about a revolutionary fuel source that could power the cars of tomorrow. For decades, we've been searching for alternatives to gasoline, something cleaner and more sustainable. Electric cars are gaining traction, but they've got their limitations. Long charging times and range anxiety are real concerns for many drivers. Ammonia hydrogen engines might be the game changer we've been waiting for. They offer the power and range of traditional gasoline engines with a fraction of the emissions. Now let's pop the hood and take a closer look at this exciting technology. We'll break down how it works, the challenges involved, and why it could be the future of automotive engineering. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this kind of content. It really helps the channel grow. Buckle up, folks. This is going to be a wild ride. So what exactly is an ammonia hydrogen engine? This innovative technology is gaining attention as a potential game changer in the quest for sustainable energy solutions. In a nutshell, it's an internal combustion engine that burns a mixture of ammonia and hydrogen to produce power. This combination leverages the strengths of both fuels to create a more efficient and environmentally friendly engine. Think of it as a hybrid between traditional gasoline engines and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. It combines the familiarity and reliability of gasoline engines with the clean energy potential of hydrogen fuel cells. Ammonia, NH3, is a compound made up of nitrogen and hydrogen. This simple molecule has been used for decades in various applications, from fertilizers to industrial processes. It's already widely used, so we've got the infrastructure to produce and transport it on a large scale. This existing network makes it easier to adopt ammonia as a fuel source without needing massive new investments. Here's the kicker. Ammonia itself doesn't burn easily. This non-combustibility is actually an advantage, as it makes ammonia safer to handle and store compared to other fuels. That's where hydrogen comes in. By combining ammonia with hydrogen, we can create a fuel that is both safe to store and highly efficient to burn. By extracting hydrogen from ammonia, we create a highly combustible fuel source. This process can be done relatively easily, making it a practical solution for generating hydrogen on demand. This hydrogen is then injected into the engine cylinders, where it mixes with air and ignites just like in a regular gasoline engine. The result is a powerful and efficient combustion process that drives the engine. The combustion process releases energy driving the pistons, and propelling the vehicle forward. This means that vehicles powered by ammonia hydrogen engines can perform just as well as those running on traditional fuels. Now you might be wondering, why not just use hydrogen directly? Hydrogen is indeed a clean and powerful fuel, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Hydrogen is tricky to store and transport. It requires high-pressure tanks or cryogenic cooling, which adds complexity and cost. These storage methods can be cumbersome and expensive, making hydrogen less practical for widespread use. Ammonia, on the other hand, is much easier to handle. It can be stored as a liquid at relatively low pressure, making it more practical for everyday vehicles. This ease of storage and transport is a significant advantage over hydrogen. With the right infrastructure, ammonia could become a key player in the future of sustainable transportation. Let's get a little geeky and look at the science behind this combustion process. When hydrogen burns, it reacts with oxygen in the air producing heat and water vapor as byproducts. The chemical equation looks like this. 2H2 plus O2 2 H2O. Ammonia doesn't burn as readily as pure hydrogen, so it needs a bit of coaxing. That's where a device called a cracker comes into play. The cracker uses heat and a catalyst to break down ammonia into its elements, nitrogen and hydrogen. This freshly liberated hydrogen is then fed into the engine's combustion chamber. The beauty of this system is that it can operate as a near-closed loop. The nitrogen released during combustion can be captured and reused to produce more ammonia, minimizing waste and environmental impact. And since the primary byproduct of combustion is water vapor, we're talking about a significant reduction in harmful emissions compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. So, we've got our ammonia, we've got our hydrogen, and we're ready to make some power. But the journey from these raw materials to a smoothly running engine is intricate and requires precision. Let's get a little geeky and look at the science behind this combustion process. When hydrogen burns, it reacts with oxygen in the air, producing heat and water vapor as byproducts. The chemical equation looks like this. 2H2 plus O2 2H2O. Ammonia doesn't burn as readily as pure hydrogen, so it needs a bit of coaxing. 
That's where a device called a cracker comes into play. The cracker uses heat and a catalyst to break down ammonia into its elements, nitrogen and hydrogen. This freshly liberated hydrogen is then fed into the engine's combustion chamber. The beauty of this system is that it can operate as a near-closed loop. The nitrogen released during combustion can be captured and reused to produce more ammonia, minimizing waste and environmental impact. And since the primary byproduct of combustion is water vapor, we're talking about a significant reduction in harmful emissions compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. So we've got our ammonia, we've got our hydrogen, and we're ready to make some power. But the journey from these raw materials to a smoothly running engine is intricate and requires precision. The process involves a series of carefully coordinated steps to ensure everything works seamlessly. This is where things get tricky. Remember, ammonia is corrosive, so we can't use regular rubber hoses and seals. Over time, these materials would degrade, leading to leaks and hazards. We need specialized materials that can withstand ammonia's harsh nature. Stainless steel, certain plastics, and advanced polymers are chosen for their durability and resistance to corrosion, ensuring the system stays intact for long periods. Instead of a conventional fuel tank, ammonia hydrogen engines use a two-tank system. One tank stores ammonia, while a smaller tank holds the hydrogen extracted from the ammonia. This separation is crucial for maintaining stability and efficiency. A network of pumps, valves, and sensors regulates the flow of both fuels to the engine, ensuring optimal combustion and minimal emissions. These components work together to maintain the proper fuel mixture and engine performance. The fuel injection system also needs tweaking. Ammonia doesn't ignite as easily as gasoline. So, we need higher injection pressures and precisely timed sparks to ensure a clean burn. This requires advanced engineering to achieve the right balance. But modern engine management systems are sophisticated enough to handle these complexities, adjusting in real time as conditions change. Now, let's talk about safety. Ammonia is a hazardous substance. It's corrosive, and inhaling high concentrations can be dangerous but this doesn't make the technology impossible. The ammonia tank is designed with multiple safety features, including pressure relief valves, leak detectors, and automatic shutoff systems to prevent leaks and contain spills. Ammonia also has a very strong odor, which makes leaks easy to detect quickly. And handling ammonia isn't new. Industries like agriculture and refrigeration have decades of experience transporting and using it safely. So while precautions are necessary, they are far from impossible to manage. Now, onto the engine itself. Can you just pour ammonia into your old V8 and call it a day? Not quite. While the basic principles of internal combustion remain the same, ammonia hydrogen engines require some modifications to ensure durability and efficiency. Because ammonia is corrosive, we need tougher materials for certain engine components. Cylinder liners, piston rings, and valves must be upgraded so the engine can handle the new fuel without degrading. 